Okay guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Um, today we just got back from the store and got this adapter. So, probably some of y'all may have seen this before. This is, might be something common for y'all. It's for one of like the old ones. So, for your like Elite or Original, it's going to look like this. And that will plug into here. And if you're um, Slim, like Xbox 360 Slim, um, like this one right here, if the power brick is broken, then this is what you can use for your other power brick to make this one power on. So we are now going to see if this works and see if it doesn't, then what the problem is. You just got to like plug this in like right here. I obviously have to do this with two hands is what I'm assuming because it's like really blocky and stuff. Yeah, I'm going to have to do two hands for this. And now once you have this plugged in, um, you're going to plug it into the back of your Xbox 360, as you would assume. And once you have that plugged in, uh, you have the HDMI plugged into the TV. Hopefully have your TV on, and make sure that this is plugged in to the wall. And let's see if this works. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah, oh, that's devastating. So, what, the only thing that this could mean is that this is an internal power supply problem. So that's it's gonna be kind of hard to fix because if you didn't know, um, these Xbox 360s are kind of hard to open, and it's mainly just the slims because the Elite I could take that apart any day. It's really easy, but this one you gotta like take the top off, pop the pins up and stuff, and it's like really difficult to do. But um, we're gonna have to, not gonna be able to do that because this is gonna be a lot of work, and that would have to be for another day. But like right here, some people say it's going to be your hard drive. Because I don't have a hard drive in there. You can't see it, but like there's nothing in there. It's supposed to be completely filled up. But since I don't have a hard drive, that's... It's not really external, but it's not like technically internal. Because there is an internal hard drive. But that's like the extra one. Because if you didn't know with another Xbox 360, like the 360 Elite. So for the Elite, you'll have something like this. You'll have a 250 gigabyte hard drive, and these are usually a little bit harder to take out. I don't think I really need to. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it in there. Those are like easier to exchange and stuff, but these are not really that hard. You just have to open this little pin and slot it right in there. But some people will say that you just need that for it to work, but that is not technically true because you have an internal hard drive that is really important for you to have. If that's broken or something, then yeah, that could be the problem. So what we would have to do is we'd have to take this apart. We have to look, uh, get a voltmeter. I do not have my voltmeter. I couldn't find it. But you would open it up, get the voltmeter, test the areas. Gosh, this thing's dirty. Um, and you would have to test the volts in the back here with the power supply. And um, see if you're getting the right amount of voltage. It should be somewhere around 100 or 230 volts on a normal power supply like that. So um, that's what I would have to do because that's an internal problem. That's still really sad that this doesn't work because this, I spent, what, 10 bucks on this? This just this little adapter right here. And it doesn't work. So that makes me kind of sad that it doesn't work. Well, I guess I'll have to see you on another video because this thing is not going to be working for today. So, see you later. Bye, guys.